Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's a nice T-shirt, the Loud Report. Yo, has. make that for us. That's a nice T-shirt. Episode Loud twenty-four by but episode twenty-six. I don't like the way he went about it, though. Personally, what do you mean? I just, I just, I, I, you gotta speak in behind the scenes. Nah, fuck that. Because the like people want to buy this, they want to like support that. us. Who? Somebody wants to buy my shit? Yeah, bro. I got mad shit for sale all the time. Where y'all niggas at then? He called you earlier. Who? These nuts. Oh, <laughs> episode, episode, Fucking episode guy. twenty-four. So what you shout out to week? Kobe. This week, man, this week was nuts, man. I went on rest. They took my back. They took my backrest away. Only scrams. I gotta start posting on Instagram to get my backrest back. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I went to the 50th anniversary hip hop concert. I know you pulled up to that too. Yeah, Yankee Stadium. It was crazy, man. It was, it was a lot of great performance. Yes. Yeah, let's go. I don't got the terrorist pussy. Um, <laughs> I am what I eat. I thought. I thought. I thought it was a great show of all, but it was long as fuck, man. By the time Nas came out, it was already From like twelve thirty. Yeah, it went on till two. Run DMC came on and people were leaving. I people felt so Run bad. DMC came on after Nas. Uh, yes. I, I kept thinking I missed them or some shit. Yeah, they came on after. I oh no, nah, that's crazy. Song, and then I left. That's crazy. Yeah, it was too late, Insane. man. That shit. Yeah, that, that concert was good, but it was long, man. Fat Joe killed it. Fat Joe had the best set by Hands far. Hands down. By far. But I thought, like, Ice Cube did a good job. Snoop did a good job. Like, it was... Who, who Snoop brought out that um, was good? Uh, 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 um, he, brought, he brought EPMD, and they did I Shot the He brought Sheriff. EPMD, and he did... Uh, and he fire. brought... Um, he brought out a couple of people. He did bring out a couple of people, man. But it was a great show. It was great. I was Yo, way... For the record, Lil Wayne was too high. Everybody, Lil Wayne killed it. No, he didn't. I thought Lil Wayne had a good set from what I remember. He looked spaced out. The fact that he I was spaced out, out in fairness. Corey Guns in, in the Bronx fairness. was amazing. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Bronx, you know, they represented well. No, nah, it was it was a great show. I, I don't think enough importance got paid to it in the beginning. I don't think enough notoriety to what was going down was uh, little, given to it. But Kim was looking but right. But they, they, yeah, I mean, I yeah, can't she got some dollars kid. up, obviously. But, yeah. but um, and Ashanti. I didn't even peep a Sean. She came out with Joe. Man, oh, yeah. Yo, I was really done, bro. I was really high at that whole show. Don't try this at home. He's just talking about what yeah. possibly happened if he did that. No, nah, I was fucked up, bro. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I did that. Um, I did the show. I fucking got to hang out. Um, I went to a comedy show, a late night comedy After show. That? No, oh, okay. this was like, uh, that means part of the week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, I think it was last week, Tuesday. Uh, Mo Ammer was in town, a I comedian with the that. Netflix show Mo, Palestinian dude. Great show, no hilarious guy. Um, he was in town and I think he was practicing for like uh, his upcoming, he's opening for Chappelle at MSG. That's coming up soon. The yeah, 27th? Yep, 7th. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to that too. You didn't um, go to none of the Adidas events? QB? No, nobody invites me to those things. It I'm was sorry. all over. Anyway, um, Kooji Rap brought out Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about my... Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that's The comedy show was amazing. Wait, wait, wait. I wound up like in the street after the show at 2 in the morning playing Tiger Hood golf with milk, with the little milk, you know, Tiger Hood to do with the little milk cups. Fucking playing golf. Yo, the show was mad fun. It was mad fun. He's hilarious. The set was hilarious. It, it was just super fun. That was like the highlight of... That's month. the dude that we fuck with all the rappers? This dude does fuck with a lot of rappers, but I don't know if the dude that fucks with all the rappers is the There's right. one I don't that know. always yeah. invites rappers to show. I don't know who he is. No, I don't know. There weren't any rappers that I knew at this thing. It was at oh. the Comedy Cellar, though, and they did it after the regular Comedy Cellar set. So it was like a invite-only type shit. It was fire. One of my boys pulled... Did Rosenberg get you tickets? No, no, no. That was not Rosenberg. Shout out to Paul, though. What up, my guy? Uh, um, yeah, nah. Somebody else brought me as they plus one. one fifty. I love comedy shows. Invite me to comedy shows, please. I love that shit. You ever seen Uptown Comedy Club when you were a kid? No. The Maybe. greatest show. Yeah. Everybody was Is it there. still available somewhere? You can watch it on YouTube. I have like all the old Richard Pryor albums on my phone. Like I have them on, in the, on fucking iTunes. Like I have yeah. comedy. I download this was comedy like albums. When Tracy Morgan started, yeah. the big chick. What's the big chick? Monique? Yeah, she yeah. started. Like they used to do, they used to snap on it. It's, it's yeah. a good show. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. I love oh. comedy. I love stand up. It's my shit. And then. Uh, so what you do this week though? I then went to the concert. Shout okay. out to Adidas. Thanks for having me. And then. Adidas, um, thanks, Adidas. I went to. You're wearing Nikes, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually had to wear Adidas to the event. Shout out to her. But I went with the guys from SNS Ball. That was the Thanks. shit that Tyler was involved with? I don't know. Tessa Rosa Dream? I know no. saw Tyler was doing something with, with Adidas and giving out like sneakers and little envelopes. And, like, oh, there was some shit. In but, a suite. but this shit was like all the buyers. Like, shout oh, out right. to Mike. So Packers, Adidas put up a lot. Adidas, Adidas had a couple and, suites up in there. Yeah, it yeah. was. How's Mike doing? Packer was cool. Packer was always cool. Yeah, he was there. He was talking shit. 
And then uh, 125th Street was pretty cool. I thought Cam was going to come out. They honored him, but I guess they no check. Cam ain't coming. Damn. You know, Cam ain't c- he coming for the money. Damn, Cam. Yeah. They named the street after you and you couldn't pull up? That's crazy, no, son. I, I, they <laughs> did the, um, <laughs> what's the shit that they flying at? A drone with his face in the sky. Oh, yeah? They like mad the, drones with the yeah, lights and, and made his face? First in Queens, they did. That's not cool as fuck. Everybody was yeah. sick. And then they did it in Harlem. With uh, Cam, I don't know who else, but it was it was sick. Who's paying for that kind of? I don't know. Adidas those got pyro, those, those Adidas thing. Adidas, Adidas, Adidas got Adidas the money, thing. I think. Uh, yeah, no, nah, Adidas definitely got the Shout money. Shout out man. to Juice. He owes all of us lunch. Yo, man. So let's talk about what's coming up this week, though. What's coming up this week? And by the time this airs on Saturday, it'll already have happened, man. But oh. this is Supreme Week One. We just got the official lookbook dropped yesterday. We all saw the previews and all the different products and. What's your general consensus on this year's well, I'm fall ex- winter drop? I'm an accessories guy. The accessories are fire. All the people that talk shit about Supreme, they're eating their tongue now. Yeah, 100%. They're back. So they should just make sure he's good because he's yeah. good by your side. I have. I've been there forever. But I, I'm, I think it's a solid ass season. Accessories, clothing. I love that they're retro a bunch of items. I love seeing that like uh, tiger. Before? They've retroed like a t-shirt here or there, a hoodie here or there. But like, like the taxi driver t-shirt was retro, the De Niro, okay. you know what I mean? And That's like, a great movie, by the way. Yeah, it was. Taxi driver's amazing. But um, and they they've done a couple of tees and things here and there that they've retroed. Uh, maybe like one hoodie design, but like they really went into some like core pieces from the brand, like Why with that varsity that? jacket. I don't know. I just think like. It, it almost feels like a natural thing to do when you're a brand that has that much heritage and that much history. It's already been proven time and time again by every other brand yeah. that like people want you to retouch on that the stuff works. that yeah that 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 you know you guys first became popular off of. Um, combine that with the fact that back then Supreme's production was nothing. They they sell more physical clothing out of the Manhattan store than they did as an entire brand back then. Like you know. Well, there was it was only the Manhattan store back then. Well, there was Manhattan LA, and they still did Dover even like for the past decade. Dover's been around. That's for a been around that long. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! I thought yeah. Dover's like maybe five years. No, Dover's a decade easy. And then they've always had the the European, the Japanese stores. You know. It's um, like four, right? Yeah, correct. Four. And but now, that's weird. I don't know. Like I don't know what happened after the the you know the the Carlisle Group bought everything, but like. And and I don't know anything for a fact. You know what I mean? But, like, I, it was originally rumors that, like, those stores weren't really owned by Supreme. That, like, that was, like... Licensing, maybe? It, it was some... I, it was, like, a, yeah, it's, like, a, like an urban Supreme legend. That, like, those stores were, like, owned by somebody that, like, was invested in it in the beginning. And then, like, allegedly, all allegedly. And then, like, He's they, they, they wanted to put it in Japan, but James didn't. So, like, they came up with an agreement that, like, they would own and run the stores and just buy the product. You know what I mean? And be allowed to be called Supremes. Like, so almost like a franchise. I don't know if that's even true in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But back then, the numbers were nothing, bro. I remember going to the store and there being one of something. You know what I mean? I remember one item, one. The the, the, the jean jacket in pink, yeah, we got one. It's a size medium. That's it. For the whole drop. Like, you know what I mean? And that doesn't happen anymore. There's quantities out the ass. So, like, to retouch on some of those items that, like, were so limited and everybody coveted, but most people couldn't even touch on... I think it's cool. I also think it's cool the way they did, like, with the, uh, is it the Pharaoh print or the Sphinx print? But, like, there's a bubble coat this year oh, and a hat. And yeah, that print, a lot. yeah, that print was used on something else. So I like that they're using the, the retro prints on new product. I like that cross branding. I, I, that technique to It all looks good. None of it looks crazy. All the tees are solid. The worship tees are a little bit on the weird side. Everybody's sensitive tees? about, like, the whole, like, devil oh, worship that's and the shit. Oh, the candle has it too. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a, a little, little crazy. It's a little crazy, but I also feel like people are a little sensitive toward that kind of shit right Supreme, now. 222, make a wish. I just peeped that off the side Do of Ouija boy, Supreme. Um, yeah, that'd be a fire accessory. Nah, but that shit is real. I don't fuck with that I think, shit. Yo, I, I think that, I think from what I heard, the quantities are getting lower, though. Like, they're going to, it's still going to be a lot, but, like, I think they they decided, all right, we pushed yeah. it too far, right? Um, they pimped it too much. Yeah. Well, they opened Chicago now, too, so maybe they're going to... Well, and Korea. Oh, Korea, too? South Korea, North Korea opened up. Not South, sorry. My bad. Not South. Um, so... Like, this year's big accessory was weird to me. This year's big accessory seems to be the um, the, uh, the the neon sign, right? It's the, I read they the description. They put a conga, too. That's crazy. What? A conga. Yeah, but the congas, that, that doesn't seem like a big enough thing to be a big accessory to me. Even no, though I'm just saying. What does like a conga cost? Like, no, a conga's like three, $400. So then maybe them shits would be like six, seven. 
But um, no, I think he, that's like still low for, for for a big accessory. I think that LED neon sign is going to be five, six racks. And the, tur- the turntables, they're going to be at least $2,000. Maybe, maybe. But it seems like a, just like a kind of like a be... chill ass big accessory well, that's for how, go- how crazy they've gone in recent years. Trailers, motorcycles, fucking this, that. that. And I'd heard rumors of. Yeah, there's like 10 people got. They, they made 10 of them, I believe. That's like, fine. And they were all made. They, they made one to begin with, and like yeah, all the rest were made. Yeah, I could have got one of those trailers. 100%. If I, I couldn't have got it. Like, I can't afford that shit. But I had access to it. I'm not a reseller. Obviously, you're the yeah. reseller. So I'm going to give the top five things I think will resell mm. and that I like. And then I want to hear what your opinion is. So All right, go ahead. Shoot. I like the chopsticks. Fire. The, the turntables. The congas. The skull with the fronts is kind of fire. It's very fire. And uh, that big neon sign is, is crazy. Yeah, that fucking neon sign is amazing. It belongs um, in a bar somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, it'd be dope if they put one like, oh, Max Fish ain't even there no more. No. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, you should put one in Max Fish with the ping pong because they had yeah. the, the yeah. arcade, the ping, whatever the shit is. But all right, so honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I haven't really deep dived into the lookbook the way I want to because like, it used to be like it, it, it's a hobby to go through them lookbooks for me and like try to find like the pieces that I think are mad dope that aren't like super that aren't going to be super popular. Yeah, like the slept on shit. I love looking through it, and I haven't had the chance to even do that yet. But off off top, I think some of my favorite items I've seen this year are like those old school APC style jeans. They they they're doing like they're doing like shit. an old like almost like a denim with the green sort of wash, like damn near a boot cut like an old APC jean. Um, salvage Japanese salvage denim. Like I think those jeans are gonna be fire. Um, that neon sign is amazing. That fucking neon sign is absolutely amazing. The turntables, yeah, it's amazing. That gold fronts thing, I feel like that is gonna be either an item that's gonna be like seventy dollars or three hundred dollars. Depends who manufactures it and how low, high the gold. level of quality is. I hope it's not real gold. If it's real gold, it's going to be thirteen hundred dollars. So, um, it, but it depends on the quality of what that thing is. Um, you know, I, I think the thing I'm most interested about Supreme this year and seeing and figuring out is now that we got a year where it's really hard to talk shit about this season. It really looks like a really good put together season. A lot of times, there's items where people are like, eh, and people talking shit about the season. The varsity jacket is amazing. The, the the some of those like cable knit cardigans with the patchwork cable the knit. That thing is beautiful. The they got the cardigan with like the the city um, map on it, like the real like the baseball glove? one. The baseball glove looks like it's made out of synthetic leather. I don't seem to like the way the printing looks I on just it. Looked at it quick. Um, I don't know. I don't think that baseball glove is, is going to be it. It might be in person. The photos didn't really sell me on the baseball glove. Shout out to Ben Solomon though. They used his imagery for that. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm really curious to see now that we have a solid season, right? Will this shit do any numbers? Like, I think it's already to the point where just the market can't sustain the kind of numbers people used to make. I think there's going to be some money to be made, especially for me, hopefully. It's all but, depends if people have money. I'm very ca- that's what I'm saying. Everything is so bad right now. I don't think that just putting out good stuff in a limited quantity is going to be enough to drive that secondary market. It's Pete, the, the consumers are going to eat it up. Supreme's going to have a grand old time. You know what I mean? But from the reselling standpoint, those are the kind of things I'm really interested in thinking about right now. But one of the things, guys, if you out here watching this and trying to think about different resale things or whatever, we're going to work up on a new segment now. It's going to be called Ask Dre, and um, we're going to put a number on the top of the screen. Right? We're going to put a box right here over Scram's face right, with the phone number inside of it. It's going to be a box and laces hanging out the bottom of this shit, right? With the phone number, you could call, leave a voicemail for me, and um, I'm going to listen to all of them, and I'm going to answer some questions about reselling, you know what I'm saying? If you need me to know where your baby mom, if I was with your baby mama last week, I'm not going to lie about nothing. I'm giving you out a real, all unfiltered. So just leave a voice message there. Let us know. We're going to go through them every week. Um, just call in. Ask whatever you want to ask. We're going to be here. And I'm going to give y'all my Supreme Picks of the Week. I know by the time y'all saw this, it's Saturday, right? And I, we figuring out the drop Monday, Tuesday. And then you, Thursday's the drop. So we're not even going to see it. But I'm going to give y'all my Picks of the Week anyway. And Saturday, y'all can talk shit in the comments about whether I was right or wrong. This week is tees. I think all the tees are pretty fire right across the board. The worship tees are a little eh, but in general, I mean, there aren't any duds of tees. I like the Jack Skeleton um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I fuck with the movie. I, I fuck with the soundtrack. It's just Jack Skeleton says Supreme underneath. Um, great tees. NBA Young Boy tees not for me. Uh, his music's cool, I think that's but sell I think out. His I, fan base yeah, is crazy. I think yeah, exactly. I think that that tees money. Just buy him at retail. Buy him. Buy that shit the fuck up. Um, what else? Uh, you know what I noticed on the things? chopsticks this week. 
It says only bus. up to XL. I didn't see two XL. Yeah, I know. Only up to XL. to XL. So only for that T. Uh, you know what? No, I've, I've, I've heard. Things. Yeah, I've seen a, a couple of people told me some conflicting stories about that. Mm-hmm. And uh, fuck if I know. It's, just, it's not worth I figure. I'm going to yeah. make phone calls to really figure it out. And it, it is what it is on Thursday. So fuck this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I think that NBA Youngboy T is going to do it. Um, I oh, think yeah, the yeah. chopsticks is an easy buy. What other accessories are they actually releasing this week? That Check lamp, the, the box logo lamp, cool, but I don't I think that has that. legs. It's just a Lucite oh, the, box. Oh, uh, the snowboards, no? The snowboards aren't this week. No, oh, I no? hope not. I, know, I, I was going to say because I want one. I don't want one. I don't need a snowboard. I don't need a snowboard. I don't, I don't even like snow. I don't want that. That's um, the same shit from the decks. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the, and the cards and like the those. T-shirts. They did a bunch of shit like that. Oh, they did the too? Yeah, yeah, they've used that a couple of times. That's like one of the things is they fake retro around. Um, the, the chopsticks is good money. Those lamps is a little weird. I'm going to pull out my phone and just look. Where's my phone? Yeah, you can't check the Supreme shit, because why? No, well, I can't check Supreme's Instagram because I'm blocked from you. Yo, Supreme, can you unblock me from Instagram already? Yo, bring like, Dre I'm sorry. back. I'm sorry. I know, but it's a different, it's a whole different world now. Yeah. I got to go to Supreme Hustle to look at, like, what's happening. The book bags, I ain't mad at the book bags. I even like how they did the little retro color blocking on that with the blue, gray, navy, white. That's giant. the light or the speaker? That's the speaker. The Harman Kardon speaker set, it looks nice, but those aren't like high quality speakers. Those are like computer speakers. Though. $400, it says, mm-hmm. which isn't bad. The candle's a little weird, the lighter, whatever. Eh. There's a torch, too, no? Yeah, yeah, the lighter's that torch thing. Oh, it's a, oh, yeah. gotcha. it's like a little handheld torch, sure. No, I thought it was bigger than that pause. No. No, the, 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 the varsity jackets are amazing. The beautiful jackets. Bunch of jackets, not any hoodies. The, 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 the soccer shorts are pretty fire. The soccer shorts are fire. That's the uh, lamps. Yeah. yeah, and that's it. Yo, Scram, so quick question, man. What is like some of your favorite Supreme items that have released throughout the years? Or like some memorable ass drops that you remember? To me, it's always been about the fitted hats. Because remember, they, I was always a big dude. The clothes didn't fit, and it was never really my cup of tea. But the original stuff, the hoodies were big. Yeah, so and they I, had 2X back in the yeah. day, originally, yeah. So I like the, to me, I like the, the nunchucks I still have. Mm. The basketball my nephews took and ruined, the, I don't even want to say it. nephews. Yeah. That basketball hoop, the mini basketball hoop that's dropping this year. Yeah, it's mini. The dartboard is fire, the too. The dartboard is fire. I remember having, yeah, I remember as a kid, I used to run around, collect the Marlboro Miles, bro. Like, I would be in the, walking home back and forth to school, remember, like, bro. looking on the floor for cigarette boxes and picking them up and, like, ripping the Marlboro Miles. And I collected 47 million, 672 trillion, 388 thousand million billion fucking cigarette That's cool cartons, right? And I got enough till I got the fucking Marlboro dartboard, just like that Supreme one. The shit was in a cabinet. It opened up. But all I remember was how fucked up that shit was after like a year because like I wasn't great at darts. So like I'd hit the wood in fucking cabinet and then run it went to shit. And I'm just thinking that's what's going to happen to that one. But if you got a bar or something, you kind of need it. Well, you great got a game house night. for the kids, so they're going to fuck that shit up. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, my kids be fucking shit up. Bro. I just had to glue back fucking my Supreme, the, the, the big ass like Stein mug. Like, they broke that, and I didn't want to throw nah, it away. So I glued to it together, and I used lamp. it as a fucking. That lamp, we <laughs> hit our head. Up. <laughs> I love that lamp. So we introducing. I, I got a, a segment. Mm-hmm. It's called "You Had to Be Here, Be There." Excuse me. And we're gonna talk about some old stuff that came out that you really didn't see unless you was really there. Mm-hmm. Nothing too famous, but like I said, you had to be involved in the mix. You got a lot of stuff like that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we we're gonna be doing this a lot. So Cheech asked me to pull a pair of Mikey's. So Mikey's was a is a Chuck Taylor with the cement print that they sold that clientele. And I, I kept them. They never wore them. They got, I think they got in trouble for, for these because they had the cement print. Look at that cool shit. I had They were great. Clientele, rest in peace. Great stuff. And stole. they did this. Clientele did this, like how niggas is making their own fake, yeah. like, Nikes now, et cetera. Yeah. yeah. Yo, that is crazy. Yo, Scrams has a crazy archive. I, I got. I, I really dislike you as a person, but oh, like five. as an archivalist, like shit. The Look at that. Good. I, I want to take a picture of this. This shit definitely hurt your feet. Yeah, the quality of these. Oh god, the blisters you'll have in this bullshit. Yeah. But, but fucking fire. Like what? Yeah, the the Mikey's. 
No, nah, that's a dope ass concept. That's fire. So then, um, yeah, what does it say on the bo- on the top of the box? Let me see the top of the box. Oh, Mike, Mike, Mike instead of Nike. In I wonder if they got a, just yo. A that's very assist, fire. Or they got fined. Check it. Look it up. That's very very fire. Check the videotape. Clientele. That's fire. That's I ain't gonna hold you. It's on Lafayette, right? That's like yeah, it, it, where, where the tattoo shop is at now. Was it tattoo shop? I believe so. The delicatessen wasn't back there. Back no, then. Back then it was. Yeah. Oh no, so it's, yeah, 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 yeah. See, like I didn't know clientele back then. Like, you know it, what I'm and, saying? It like went into, I so, used to go down there like cause of Supreme and Triple Five Soul, but like I didn't know the store back then. Back so then, back then, back then, so clientele was already gone? Damn. Oh, so that what never, the yeah. fuck was his name that had clientele? Cool dude. Pretty, I got whatever the fuck I wanted. He had a ghost face sign. My cousin Supreme clientele, ghost wrote on the sign. It was a pretty dope store. Supposedly, yeah. James' brother worked there. Okay. And he was an asshole to yeah. everybody that came in. And one day, everybody just got tired of the shit, was talking shit to him, and he just left one day and never came back. <laughs> Neil, but that's see- so dope to me, man. I love seeing shit like that, man. I love sneakers. And seeing some stupid shit like this really, like... And Sparks my love for that shit. Like, look at this. In 05, they was doing this. You know what I'm saying? Years ago. The mics. Yo, that's fire. That's fire. Shout out clientele. Shout out to Very Joe. Fire. Joe, that was his name. And then I have a, a brand. Give me the other one. A brand called Spoon Fed. Never even heard of it. This was uh, Bill Spector. He was the illest. He was the mayor in New York. Like, he ran everything. Club promoter. I still got these shits brand new. I only bought a pink one. Like, you couldn't really get this shirt. And then, what size? I I think I've seen this shirt before, though. He was, like, the first one to use the Nas quote. On my Nike head, I wear chains that excite the feds. And then I'll send you the picture. Pass me the pink one. Your scram's got some shit. I ain't gonna hold it. might be brand new. I used to buy everything. I bought all them shits. This is a dunk, no. Yeah, I think he made it different it's enough different. that like he can at least try to argue if they would come at him because the swoosh is a little ugly too. Like that's yeah. just being smart, you know. And plus, this wasn't sold everywhere. I think uh, Rosemary's. I got, think I got this from Rosemary, and this was early two thousand. Rosemary had the store Goliath, okay, which was the original vault, okay, and that was on it was on East Side on like the hundred and. I'm gonna say it's like first Ave over no, there, third no, Ave, right? It's right off of third Ave. Third, yeah. And the cut, shout out to DA who was always in there. Rest in peace, my God. Let that do. And there's one other shirt that I didn't even mean to bring here. This is like the illest shirt ever of all time. When this came out, bro, Jay Z wore the shirt, but in yellow in the front video. Well, this this brand Orchard Street was like the illest shit ever. Like, pump accordingly. Pimp. Pimp accordingly. Like, if you watch the front end video, Jay Z turns around, he's like this. I try to get this dude to bring this brand back every day. Yeah. When this was out, the shirt was going for $700 minimum on eBay. Yeah. And you couldn't get them. Like, Let me see the tag. Horchard Street, that's a cool tag. What it says. Yeah. Do not fry your shirt. Machine wash cold. <laughs> Do not fry your shirt. Nah, it's cool. Yeah, it got some shit all over it. Damn, yeah, like little like, dots, because I showed these damn, in Vegas. Bro, just wear that shit. How about that? Just wear yeah, that I shit. I but not really. I think Scrams just buys it and holds it. Well, I, I had one back in then, I would. But uh, shout out to Greg. You need to, well, he got some shit cooking. I can't talk about the name or none of that stuff. But Greg is coming back with some stuff. Taking streetwear back to streetwear, hopefully, if he decides to focus and it's not Balenciaga, not Celine, not. What other shit these kids are wearing? I don't know fucking... That's what they wear, and that's what they consider streetwear, the high-end yeah, fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gucci, Louis Vuitton. I don't look at it like that. Fake. Yeah. They, they're not confused. They just want to use this, the expensive shit to show they're spending money, and that's really not streetwear. Streetwear was about getting fly with what you had. Like, you didn't have that type of money back then. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, you, know, absolutely. you wanted something to match your kicks fast. Absolutely. Now not. these kids, I don't, bro. Kids kiss my ass. I ain't getting you no designer shit. These little shit. kids got a new phone. I'm not kidding. Fucking, they got, yo, these kids are walking out with $6,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's, it's difficult, though, bro, because you also can't have your kid not be, to a degree, kept up with his peers. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's a give and a take. It's difficult, though. Well, I, go, I think that I always go back to letting kids be kids. Like, my boy, he always buy Jordans for his, mm-hmm. for his son. 
Yeah. The kid just wants Vans. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. There, 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 there's, 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 there's ups and downs, and, and yeah, there's like, ups and downs, and there's different and like, variations him, of yeah. Don't Jordan's is fucking up his feet. He's like, nah, nah. He got to look fly. The kid is crying about his feet hurting. Yeah, the kid sounds like he needs the man to fuck up a little too. Nah, but the, nah, the kid is wild, bro. He's fucking Jordans, bro. He's, they, they his size, bro. Why everybody keep riding this Jordan uncomfortable shit? They They're sneakers. They're not that uncomfortable. They're not that uncomfortable. You're wearing dunks, bro. Yeah. That's comfortable? I have flat feet. That's why I can wear Jordan ones. You got ugly feet, bro. I don't talk about it. How you looking at my feet, though? <laughs> Yo, please smoke that guy's Yo, I hate this guy. All right, Scrams, tell me about the fit, man. Talk to me. Nah, I, I want to congratulate the new socks today. He forgot to put lotion on, but... He, I, don't, I don't even own lotion. So I got some St. John's dunks. Shout out to Bodega for always giving me socks. Nice socks. Yo, Bodega, I want some socks. Shout out to Yodi for these fire ass. I got to show these shits off. I ain't wear these shits in like three years, but I had to wear them because I couldn't get a hat. I finally got it. But Yodi did his thing with these. Those are nice shorts. He made those like the, the whole shorts. He just did the no, zippering and the. Everything. Yeah? Nice shorts. He did every college team. Yeah? Nice shorts. Shout out Yodi. Nice guy. Yeah, guy. Yodi's the man. Yodi's yeah, like man. the first dude that was doing the fitted hats. Yeah. 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 He had the brand Yodi City. Yep, 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 yep. I remember. Yodi City, yep. Yeah, so what you wearing yeah. today? Um, Travis Scott, Fragment Jordan 1 Lowe's. You know what I'm saying? Yo, somebody buy them fragments off of Drake. Why? Because you're going to take off those eat with all that money you're about to make. Nah. That's more money just to get back to the, <laughs> Just get here. Um, I don't even want to sell them shits to be honest with you. No. But every couple months, like I'll, you know, I throw them out there. If they sell, great. I can't, I can't wear them either. They cost right. too much. I don't got no event I'm going to How much that they marriage. Cost now? They're going for they, even on the low end. Twenty seven is like the highest number I've gotten, like you know, so that I could take. Nah, I want That's like thirty five for them shits though. That's crazy for a sneaker that cost what two hundred when it came out. Mm -hmm. It's my hustle. last pair, bro. I can't. I don't know. But I got all right. Travis Scott. Fragment Jordan 1 Lowe's, uh, Double RL, Cargos, you know what I'm saying? Like the dad I am, you know, got the dad Cargos. And uh, shout out Hellstar, man. The Hellstar guys got me right with this tee. They was just in New York. We was running around with them a little while. They was doing, um, like, T-shirt giveaways, like, almost like a scavenger hunt. It was pretty crazy, man. They had mad cars following us, trying to get to the next location. And it was weird because I was part of, like, the establishment while this was happening, not being one of the guys following like I usually am. So it was a they little... Know they flipped is, the right? script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these, these house dogs, dude, man, these, this shit is the hottest shit in the world right now, man. These guys is printing... They over there printing it right now, it man. They're getting like it. like a Hebrew Brantley face, no? I can see that. The Flyboy, I can see where you see that, the similarities. Yeah, but this looks like the Flyboy fly boy grew up and realized the world is not a fun place. Definitely not. Yeah. Shout out to House Talk. <laughs> yeah, definitely shout out to House Talk, man. They're doing their thing. So tune in next week for episode 25. So Tell your special. girl, follow us on Spotify, so YouTube. Where else you can find us? She could catch me on Instagram. Yeah. Talk about his girl? Not oh, his bad. girl. <laughs> Everybody nah, catch us. We on um, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. Uh, Cheech has it on his phone. If you ever see him in an airport or something, he'll go pull up one of those episodes. He'll do it for you. Like, yo, just any way you want to get the content, get the content. Talk some shit. Leave some comments. Fuck all of y'all. Peace.